Hi guys, Ashantin here. I have just spent the night in this village. Everybody's still alive, but the crickets are starting to eat their crops. So I am going to run off. Ah, oh, they do have bamboo close. I was just thinking that this is a very large village and could be possibly um, one of the best villages I've seen. Um, to use as a village breeder, even though it's a long way from my home, um, because there's, you know, quite a few houses already. But if I run away from here, we can save the crops. And then, given that there's compost nearby, if we wanted to, we could. I don't know whether villagers would use um, crops going on. There's a thought. I don't know if they would utilise it and breed if we replaced it with garden soil to stop the crickets. I tell you, the things you don't know about this game. Ah. And I've fallen in water. Okay. I must say that one of the things that always amuses me is when I start the game, um, Fedrin's Oh, we're coming into a different biome. Now, what's this one? Outback. Okay. In Fedrin's life in the woods and the launcher amuses me is that, I don't know if your launcher has the same, but the last line before it starts actually running the game, it says, looking for old assets and natives to clean up. I love the thought that there are some filthy old natives somewhere that need cleaning up. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, don't fall in there. Ooh. It's a big hole in the ground. Gosh. Oh, oh, oh. I think I've seen another special tree. Look at that one. That is one of the special trees, isn't it? Oh, I say we are making wonderful discoveries. Just running around enjoying ourselves. Am I, am I on mud? No, it's hardened sand. Please tell me it hasn't got hardened quicksand in it. No. What is this? It's Heka. And are these just normal trees? Oak. Aren't they beautiful? So what is this going? Dense forest, okay. Very nice. I wonder whether it will give me a sapling if I go up and cut some leaves off. I don't want to. Now what Fedrin did, I remember, was she went up and she very carefully went right to the top and cut some leaves off where nobody could see. What a view. Right, so. And she didn't use her hook. Yay! One sapling. Can I get another? Be very careful. I'm being greedy with looking for two. Or is it that one might grow and the other might not? They're gorgeous trees, aren't they? Very carefully. Look at this wood. Maybe we only get one. Fedron got two. 
I do watch her series. I think it's, I learn so much from it. Ah, I have two. That's it. And now we're going to go down here. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful wood. So we have heckle. That is very nice. Or a heck of sapling. Okay. I think I might mark this on the map. They don't have trees, do they? Um. No. Well, let's just put that, and we'll put pecker tree, just in case we never find another one. Pecker tree. Good. Now that we've got the map out, um, I was going in that direction, which appears to be right to head to back to the tree house. But we're coming at it from a slightly different angle, which is great. I made some food in the desert village. They had some ripe wheat, so when I stayed overnight, I made myself a little oven and cooked it up to make toast. What is this? Swedish ivy. I have that. Mm, that looks an interesting wood. Oh, excellent. A beehive. That's an odd place to find them, down close to the ground, isn't it? This is all loading. This is all new stuff, guys. I don't really look for ocean monuments. Do you think that's one over there, or do you think that's just sand? I have to say one thing I should have shown you is in my spawn house, the mine shaft I first sank goes right down straight into a ravine. And along the ravine there is water pouring in onto sand. And there's coral growing in the ravine. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, oh dear. I think we're coming to the point where we may have to make a boat. Ooh. I wonder if there's anything up there. No, that that isn't anything, it's just grass. I thought it was some sort of stone but it's not. Okay. Where am I? I'm going this way. I need to go this way. This must be... I don't think this is a very big lake. Let's just quickly swim across here before anything sees us. And s before we lag to death. And see if we can skirt round this instead of having to go in a boat. Look at cows and sheep looking down at me. Is that a different so sort of tree? It's all loaded in, guys. I think the um, big hills are a huge challenge. A challenge for me too, but I'm going to try and get up there because, well, mostly just because, but let's see if we can uh, pull up a bit. Oh gosh, 
Oh, don't growl at me. I'm going, I'm going. Oh gosh, the skeletons and everything. Ah! You so and so. Right here then. I'll kill both of you. Come on. As I fall off this mountain, no. Not in another one. This was not a good idea. It's gone dark when I haven't noticed. And I'm surrounded by mobs. Yeah. Okay, let's just give ourselves a breathing space for a minute. Right. Clearly, <laughs> said she, catching her breath. Clearly, we need a bed. Uh, wood. I wasn't watching the time there, was I, guys? Okay. Well, let's sleep in this rather narrow shelf. And I'll see you in the morning, guys. Bye.